Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be doing my winter nails. I am using this um, hand that I bought off of Amazon. This hand was about $10. It comes with a stand so it stays in front of you. I was really excited about this. I know it's not a fancy hand but it will do. So the nail tips that I'm using, they're these extra long stiletto tips. I'm going to be cutting them down to be more coffin. And yeah, so we're just going to get them on, glue them, cut them, and then I'm going to do most of the filing and buffing off of camera, and then we'll get into the nail look. Also guys, everything that I use in this video, I will be linking it down in the description, so if you need anything, if you like the hand, the nails, anything, they're all going to be linked down there. Alright guys, so these are all the nails. They're all filed and buffed and ready to be done. So first I'm starting with a marbled look. So I'm going in with my Model 1's blue acrylic and I'm going in with the clear transparent from CND. So first off, I started with this technique where I took a bead of clear and I took a bead of blue together and I tried to do it that way. That way did not work out for me. The blue is just kind of staying in a big blob. It wasn't really doing anything that I wanted it to. So I changed my technique and I ended up going in with just a clear bead and then I go in and add a little bit of blue at a time just so I can put little strands of the blue to make more of that marble effect. So that is what I'm going to be doing for this whole nail and then I'm going to be putting some really cute little silver files, uh, files, foils. I'm gonna put some really cute little silver foils in there. So yeah, enjoy. And if you guys wanna try this technique, do it. I really, really recommend it. I see it all the time. And it looks like such a, it's a clever design. You know, you look at it and if you don't do nails, you're kinda like, wow, I want that. Like, how do they do that? Cause it looks so dimensional. So if you guys wanna try it, I really suggest you do. It's so easy and the look of it is stunning. Okay guys, so that's the nail now that it's done. It's a little bit bumpy, but you don't have to worry about that. It's part of the process. So now I'm going to be going in with these cute little silver foils. I got those on Amazon and I will be linking that below as well. So I just placed them on the nail, scrunched them up, and I just did that for the whole entire nail. Alright guys, now moving on to my mm, ring finger. I'm going to be using this blue, it's the same blue as I was using before, it's the Model 1's. And I'm using it with a slow setting monomer. So if you guys can see how difficult this acrylic was being with me, it was already drying. It was sucking up the monomer like nothing. Um, look how dry it was getting, it was actually crazy, I have no idea why it was doing this. I used a wet bead. I don't know why it was drying up like that, so I ended up having to put some more monomer on my brush just to get it to blend down a little bit, and then I started to have to work with really, really, really wet beads. So it still turned out okay, the nail, but it was a struggle. It really was a struggle. I was really confused as to why the acrylic and the monomer was reacting like this, 
But anyways, I'm just tucking the product into the cuticle and then I'm going to be leaving the bottom of the nail blank and I'm going to be putting some cute little white sparkles and a few little charms. I'm going to be putting some snowflakes and some little um, pearls and I'm going to encapsulate that later. So that is what this nail is going to be. Alright guys, now moving on to my middle finger, I am going in with a clear bead of acrylic and I'm putting that as a base for that sparkly pink acrylic that I'm going in with. I wanted the um, uh, bottom layer of the nail to be super slippery, so when I put the, um, the pink acrylic on, the sparkly pink acrylic, it would just move easier because I'm going to be marbling this with some white. So this nail actually wasn't planned out. I was I really wanted to use this pink acrylic, but I didn't know how to incorporate it. But then I realized the little snowflakes I'm using have some pink in it, so I was like, why not just make like a little pink, white, marbled nail and add some snowflakes in it too? So I'm just going in with my white and I'm marbling that around the pink. This one, I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I love how it turned out. I think this is one of my favorite nails that I've actually ever done. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. It really, really turned out so cute. So I'm excited. Please let me know in the comments which one of these nails is your favorite after you watch the video. I, I really love this one. This one has to be my absolute favorite. So I actually put a little crystal in that nail, if you can see it, like right on there. It's going to get encapsulated and it. when I put the top coat, you see it so clear and it looks insane. I really suggest if you haven't encapsulated a crystal, please do it. It looks dope. Like actually it looks so dope. Anyways, moving on to my pointer finger, I'm going in with just blue because this one I'm going to make like a little cable sweater design on it after with some gel polish. So yeah, so this one's just going to be fully blue, then I'm going to do an ombre on my thumb and then we're going to get into the nail art, which I'm excited about because I've never done nail art. Maybe you guys are going to think it's horrible, I'm okay with that, I have no experience, but you know, I tried my best. So bear with me, I hope you guys like it, I love the nail art that I did. Not to sound like ridiculous, maybe it looked horrible everyone else, but it's the first time I pulled off some nail art, so... I'm just going to pat myself on the back. So yeah, now I'm doing my ombre on my thumb. And guys, this thumbnail was so tiny. Like in real life, this thumbnail was ridiculous i tried to take these nails off to put them on my hands just so i could like do the reveal shots and it did not happen that the thumbnail is like the size of my index finger which is crazy i mean it looks bigger maybe on film but it was not also i'm just filling in here the side walls and just trying to like bump it out because if you can see how it just kept concaving it was something about the way the sidewalls are they're not actually like real sidewalls like the top of the cuticle is pushed in but the sidewalls were very faint so it was a little bit difficult to get good definition around those sides but i tried my best that i could but everything else turned out decent i mean it's on a fake hand obviously if you do acrylic on a real finger it's not going to turn out like that if you have experience and you're decent you're going to do fine but with a fake hand just expect it to be a little bit more difficult around the cuticles for sure just because some of them are made better some of them are ten dollars like mine but you know what it gets the job done so now i'm just going in with my clear capping then i'm going to file off camera and then we're going to get into the nail art Thank you. 
Also, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please come subscribe. I'd love to have you guys on here. I love to answer my comments. I love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions and ideas on what I can do next. So, yeah, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and um, let's become friends. Alright guys, so now that they're all clear capped, filed, shaped, buffed, I'm going in with my CND Cream Puff White Gel Polish and I'm going in with this line brush. Now here's the thing, I don't have a really long line brush, also my precision is clearly horrible. I cannot make a straight line for the life of me. So basically, I'm just showing you guys this because if you guys want to do nail art but you can't make the straight lines, I'm just here to tell you that's okay and if you want to make a straight line but you cannot just use a flat black brush bleh, 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 a flat brush and acetone so because my nail was so like the line was so horrible I just took a flat brush and I'm just going in and I'm straightening it out I have normally a pretty precise hand I've done makeup like all my life and I'm really good at eyeliner and all those things so my hand is quite steady so I'm just going really lightly and trying to maneuver the line. It's not perfect in the end, but you know what? It was good enough. I tried my hardest. Art is art, you know? It does, there's no right way to do it. You do it the way you feel comfortable. So I made one line. I put my little dots on the side. Then I'm just making a little zigzag line. I don't know if this is a cable sweater design, but it turned out really cute in the end. I'm happy with it. I did not make another line on the other side because I knew I would butcher it. So I just went ahead and put my little dots on the side and I left it like that. So guys, if you guys can't do nail art, neither can I, but you know, anything's possible and it will look cute no matter what you do. So just have fun with it. So now I'm just putting a little paper towel down, I'm taking my white acrylic and I'm pouring that over the gel polish before I put it in the lamp and that is just going to give me a nice matte finish without putting matte top coat on which would go over desi the design and basically like dull it out, it would make it thicker which wouldn't keep the actual design that it was. So then you're just going to pop that in for 60 seconds, you're going to brush it off and there you go, your cute little cable sweater nail design. Maybe it's not perfect, but I thought it was cute. So now I'm going in with my top coat. I'm going to go ahead and top coat all of the nails. I really, really, really loved this set, guys. I really hope you guys liked it too. I, I don't really do blue nails. I'm really more of the kind of person that just likes pink, which I know I need to step out of my comfort zone. But yeah, look how cute that is, all the encapsulation, the little pearls, and here is the nail where you're going to be able to see that crystal, I don't know if you see it right over there, but like look how insane that looks encapsulated, I think it looks so stunning. So yeah, I also put a little bit more top coat at the top of the thumb because it was a little bit concaved and I wanted to give it a little bit more dimension. But yeah, so these are the nails guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!